welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video apply this to your skin just before bed and you're gonna be waking up with glowing younger fresher looking skin I have a wonderful treatment for you that you're gonna apply to clean skin at night and this is gonna help you to look radiant in the morning it is just a simple remedy just practice this at night it's only gonna take about two to three minutes and you're on your way to a younger looking you so if you're interested in today's video come with me and I'll show you how to use this simple remedy for great looking skin now what we're gonna be making first we're gonna be making a facial toner and a facial toner is pretty easy to make I'm gonna be using some vegetable glycerin now vegetable glycerin can be made from palm oil or grapeseed oil and even coconut oil okay and it is really just glycerin so vegetable glycerin one ingredient you also have a choice right here I have some lavender water and I have some rose water you can choose to mix both or you could choose to use either or either for this facial toner I have both sometimes I like to mix them so today I'm gonna be mixing both along with the vegetable glycerin and I'm also gonna be using a little bit of water in this facial toner okay so I'm going to use one tablespoon of the vegetable glycerin, a tablespoon. And next we're going to add four tablespoons of water. One, two, three, four. Next I'm going to mix the vegetable glycerin in the water. Just mix it and mix it well. Make sure the vegetable glycerin is totally dissolved in the water. That is done. I'm gonna add the rose water and I'm using one teaspoon of rose water. I'm also using one teaspoon of lavender water. If you're using just rose water, use two teaspoons or just lavender water, two teaspoons. We're adding that to the vegetable glycerin and water and we're going to blend well. Just mix well. And now this is ready. Now because we have the vegetable glycerin in this, it's acting as a preservative. So just store this in your refrigerator. You can store this for up to a month. Double up on the ingredient if you want to make more and you are good to go. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to move on to making the step two. Moving on to step two. For step two, I'm using some olive oil, which is very, very moisturizing. If you do not want to use olive oil, you can go ahead and use some coconut oil in this recipe. I'm also going to add some rosehip oil, which is loaded with a lot of antioxidant. It also have vitamin A, a form of a retinol that will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines. I'm also going to use some ooba or jabobo oil, and this also has antioxidants and minerals that is great for the skin so this combination you're gonna be using on your skin at night just before bed so I'm gonna be using about two tablespoons of the olive oil if you have oily skin and you're really trying to avoid olive oil try some grapeseed oil okay next I'm going for my rose hip oil and I'm using one teaspoon of the rose hip oil and look at the wonderful color that the rose hip oil have. And the rose hip oil is actually from the seeds of the roses, not the petal, the seeds. And for our ooba oil, I'm using the same amount as rose hip oil. I'm using one teaspoon, pouring that in the olive oil. And now we're gonna blend this together. And look at this. This is a, I love oils. I love using oils on my skin, especially when they have all these wonderful, you know, ingredients for the aging skin. And so here you have it. You can also choose to use some carrot seed oil in this to further strengthen it. Anti-aging retinol. Okay, just play around with these ingredients. Use what you have. Just blend the most important ones together, like the ooba and the 
rosehip oil with any other carrier oil that you have okay so here we have our two steps that you're gonna do every night before bed for great looking skin younger looking skin for waking up with beautiful fresh looking face so next I'm going to show you how to use this because you're not just going to put these on your face like this there's a you know a technique to do these so don't go away just continue watching so here is the two-step system our facial toner and our facial oil now before anything you need to start with clean skin so you're gonna wash your face the way you normally do now if you are washing your face in the shower you're gonna take your wash rag and that is if you have hot water in your shower if you do not have hot water in the shower you're gonna fill a container like this with some hot water you're gonna take your rag you're gonna place it in the hot water soak it up make sure it's not too hot so you want to test it and then you're going to squeeze your rug out like i'm showing here now if you're in a shower where you have warm water you're going to do the same thing to your washcloth and then you're going to place it over your face like this you're going to press it on And you're going to keep it there for about 30 minutes once that is done you're going to reach for your facial toner now if you have a spray bottle it's best to pour your facial toner in it if you don't then you definitely will have to use your hands like i'm going to show you here so you're going to take a little of the facial toner not a lot and you're just gonna press it on your skin just apply it to your skin like i'm showing here soak your face with it it's okay to go under the eyes don't forget to go down and the neck and decollete with a facial toner press it in the combination of the lavender and the rose give a totally wonderful smell next you're gonna let the toner dry on your face so let it dry leave it on your face for a couple of minutes so once it's completely dried then you're gonna go back a second time you're gonna take a little more of the facial toner spray it on if you have the spray bottle and you're now gonna use it to massage the skin and if you're not familiar with facial exercises or facial massages i have a few videos you could look at it when you're done i will try to put one in the description box below now once you finish you know massaging the skin with your facial toner you're gonna move to step two and this is your oil so you're gonna take a little of your oil not a lot just a little like this and then you're gonna rub it in your hands i like to rub it to warm it and once you warm the oil in your hands then you're gonna now press the oil on your skin you're not gonna rub the oil in so you're not gonna be doing this you already did that with the facial toner you're using the oil and you're just gonna press it on just press and this oil is good to apply under the eyes around the area right here where you tend to have the wrinkles just press it on the skin that is also helping with circulation and you just press this and once you're done with that you are done just practice this every night and you will be on your way to beautiful younger fresher brighter looking skin now take a look at my skin look how fresh look how moisturized it's looking really clean So there you have it. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This really up the channel. Also comment, comment, comment. Those are also welcome. And if this was the first time watching, guess what? I'm sure you want to see more of this video. So look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.